I'm going back home where I'll see the hills kiss the sky and the sun's a bright balloon. Sprinkle me with desert stardust and let me lie neath that old vat of moon. Neath that old vat of moon. Hello, my name is Garrett Barmore. I'm curator of the WM Keck Earth Science and Mineral Engineering Museum. And welcome to a special field trip episode of Mineral Monday. Today we're going to be exploring beautiful Lake Tahoe. This week we're talking about the geology of Lake Tahoe. But first, we must discuss how the Sierra Nevadas themselves were created. About 24 million years ago, through extreme uplifting, the Sierra Nevadas were lifted up and a deep valley to the west was dropped down. At some point, lava from the volcanic Mount Pluto flowed into the valley, cutting off what would become the Truckee River. This caused a natural dam, and over the course of many years, the river backed up and runoff from snow created a large, high alpine lake. During the Ice Age, large glaciers formed in the peaks surrounding Lake Tahoe and eventually moved down deep valleys, carving them into a U-shape. And that has left us with beautiful bays, uh, ridges, and rugged peaks. Lake Tahoe is 22 miles long, 12 miles wide, has 72 miles of shoreline, and it averages about 1,000 feet deep. If you would like to visit this beautiful lake, it's about an hour from the University of Nevada, Reno. I'll see you next Mineral Monday. I'm going back home where I'll see the hills kiss the sky And the sun's a bright balloon Sprinkle me with desert stardust and